Hi and welcome to tutorial 67 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of the Markplex email list then please go to markplex.com and I will let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So today's tutorial 67 is going to be looking at dojis and uh, you can see a doji here. Simply a bar where the open and the close are the same level or very close. And uh, the way that uh, TradeStation calculates this, if we were to actually open the doji function, what it does, it takes the absolute value of open minus close. In other words, if, it neg if it's negative, it makes it positive. And it makes sure that that is less than or equal to the, the difference between the high and the low multiplied by a percentage and uh, you'll see in the little show me that I created here that we're passing to the function a percentage of 5 and uh, the little show me study I wrote here just simply says if C doji uh, with the 5 there is equal to 1 then plot a little red dot at low minus 5 and uh, if it's not equal to 1 then we we know plot and uh, if we look at the chart again and uh, just zoom out you'll see various dojis here plotted with the uh, the red dot uh, value of 5 below the bar. So that's fine but what about if we wanted to just include dojis where the uh, the upper wick, the wick above the open and close and the lower wick were about the same. So for example I can see a bar here where the upper wick is so much greater than the lower one so perhaps we wouldn't want to include that. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is just create a new function which will behave a little bit like the old one but we'll just be looking for symmetric, what I'll call symmetric dojis. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, we're going to go file, new and function and we're going to call it uh, sim doji, I'm just going to call it two because I've already created one and uh, the return type is going to be an integer. I'm going to say OK there. And uh, the first thing we need to do is just compare like we do with the uh, the the trade station doji function is just that we've got this very very small bar. So first of all, it's going to create uh, an input, and uh, this is going to be where we store the percentage. So we'll just call that percent. Oops, percent and that is going to be a numeric numeric simple close brackets and uh, so first of all how would we make sure that the body of the bar was very short and uh, the way we do that is we just say if abs value in other words absolute value of open minus close because we don't know if it's a up bar or a down bar so that could come out negative we want it to be positive that has got to be less than or equal to the high minus the low of the bar multiplied by the percentage and because we're going to uh, supply that percentage as uh, a whole number rather than as a fraction we just need to actually multiply by 1 divided by 100 which is 0 0.01 so that is the uh, the first step now if we wanted to see that the upper bar and the the lower bar were exactly the same then we'd probably have some functionality like this h minus max list which in other words the biggest of the two open open close is equal to min list in other words the smallest of the two open close minus the lower the bar and then if that were true we would set the uh, name of the 
function here sim doji two equals one else I'm just going to copy that and uh, except if it's not true we're going to make that equal to zero so um, that should validate and it does or sorry verify the problem is there's probably not going to be that many cases where the upper wick is exactly equal to the lower wick so we need to be a little bit more sophisticated than that and uh, so what I'm going to do is create a couple of variables and uh, I'm just going to call them short wick and long wick so short wick I'm going to set it initially to zero and long wick which I'm going to set initially to zero and uh, the first thing we're going to do is just calculate the the short wick and the long wick so the way we do that is we say short wick equals min list and we want to find which is the shortest of the two wicks well we've already calculated the values of the two wicks one of them is this value so I'm just going to put that in brackets here and the second one is the other value here so we can we can copy those Type in control V here and close the brackets and and then conversely the long wick is going to be equal to and uh, what I'm just going to do is copy this except uh, now we're going to be looking for the max list okay so having calculated those now what we need to do I'm just going to comment this out because uh, this was the uh, the part of the syntax which was just looking for the wicks that are exactly the same and what we're going to do is replace that and say the long wick must be less than less than or equal to the short wick multiplied by 1 which means the short wick itself plus and then I've just put in uh, a number 5 here you could uh, change that you could even make that an input but I've said 5 times percent divided by 100 and just to make sure that everything is calculating exactly as we want I'm going to put this in brackets like so so I think that is everything we need there so we're now checking that a the body of the bar is less than the high minus low multiplied by a percentage and that the long wick and the short wick are relatively the same size okay so now let's apply that and uh, we've already created this show me study what we're going to do is just going to copy this and we're going to use this new function and the new function as we know is called sim doji 2 and we're going to say plot 2 and instead of uh, low minus 5 let's just make it open and let's call it sim doji and let's give it a different color so let's make it yellow for instance and uh, we need to change because we're using plot 2 we need to use uh, the no plot statement to plot 2 so I'm going to press F3 to verify that we don't have any errors and uh, now then let's look at the chart just zoom in so you can see now for example this bar here the upper wick is relatively the same as the lower wick 
but this bar here well that's uh, no means uh, the same at all and uh, if we go along we'll see of course there are a lot less uh, doges where the uh, there's that sym symmetrical uh, property but you can see another one here and another one here and so on so anyway um, I hope that is a useful demonstration of creating a function and uh, also how that could be applied to a doji so anyway thank you very much and uh, see you again soon